handmaiden is on our Well, now that we're ship. off that Dejaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. You're telling me. Uh, what's with T3? Just a HK droid right there. Uh, what are you talking about? You did what while you were connected? Okay, that. Uh, you downloaded Atris's archives? Oh, we're gonna find some juicy stuff here then. What is the machine saying? He said there is a hollow recording of my trial in Atris's records. Uh. There's a hollow the day I was exiled. We seem to have found it. Oh, we can watch it? Damn, I don't remember this at all, dude. The Jedi Council. Do you know why we have called you here? Oh, wow, I get to participate? That's crazy. I thought I was just going to watch it. Um, I came because I chose to, not because you summoned me. You have called me here to answer for my crimes on Malachor 5. As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? That guy's, uh, mustache. Cowboy Jedi. That man's from Texas right there. Uh, wow, look at my face. It's before I turned evil. Uh, I realized that following Revan to war was in violation of the Jedi Code, and I broke it, knowingly defying the wishes of the Council. So how would I react? Would this be before my character became Dark Side, or am I slowly making that... Um, it's, it's slowly infecting my personality and character overall. It's like the beginning, right? Uh, if you seek to punish, Mandalorians had to be stopped. You were at not you were not at Malachor. You will never understand. The truth is that no Jedi should turn from war. They should embrace it. Um, that sounds. I don't want to say that one. That one's dumb. These two are kind of dumb as well. The truth is no Jedi should turn from war. They should embrace it. We'll say that. You refuse to hear us. You have shut us out. And so have shut yourself to the galaxy. We feel that your true understanding of what happened at Malachor 5 will only happen in time. And it cannot happen here, near the battlegrounds where you fought. You are exiled. And you are a Jedi no longer. What? There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Ooh. About to kill you. I stabbed a man. Oh no, I just stabbed the pillar. That Master Vruk? He was in the first game. The other Jedi's don't look, uh... Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there. More like an echo. Revan's influence has grown amongst the youngest of the Order. 
He speaks to their passions, not their sense. The war has touched them. Many of them have found themselves in the war against the Mandalorians. It is as I feared. And I fear that we have played into the hands of the enemy. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code and lead all who listen to the dark side, as they did the Exile. Her you teachings? The dark side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the dark side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from what? that, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. So there was a reason they cast me out there. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? <laughs> also, uh, I guess that's... After the events of the first game, I guess? Because Farouk is the only one there, so that means that... Uh... Farouk is the only one that survived Dantooine, I guess. I'm assuming that was after the events of the first game, but I'm not sure. Uh, those last few moments of my trial, I had no idea. Is that all there is? There must be more. So they knew what happened to me. They all do. Atris has a list of all the missing Jedi. Sure, display it. In a second, what else was in the archive? What about artifacts and lightsabers? Because you know, that's what we want. We want artifacts and lightsabers. She was obsessed with records. Why wouldn't she have a list? All right, play the missing Jedi. Master Vruk, Dantooine, Zezkai, Narshada, Master Kavar, Onderon, Master Vash, Korriban, Master Atris, Telos. Okay. So, Dantooine, Narshada, Onderon, and Korriban. Wait, are we gonna go slay all those Jedis, or what? Those Jedis were all, were all in the council that exiled me. A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. We have no choice, so should I know what happened to me? Okay, so now, remember earlier when I was like, what is our main objective in this game? Like, 17 hours in, we don't even know. 
Well, here it is. It only took, uh, what, like two planets? Paragus and all of Telos to tell me? Um... We need their help against the Sith? No. We have no choice. Those Jedi know what happened to me. Oh, handmaiden. Those are Atris's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Sister, you and yours are the threat. If it comforts you to believe that, then so be it. But the enemies you face are many, and you will need all the help you can get. It is just me, and I am doing this against Atris's wishes and those of my sisters. I really hate this music because of how it builds up to get really loud in those moments. They could have they should have picked a, a different track rather than something that's just blaring horns at a, a certain point. Um So you have betrayed her. I find that hard to believe. No, she speaks the truth. We will take the servant of Atris with us. I don't recall asking you. You don't believe her story, do you? I tire of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. General. The cargo hold is enough, I assure you. There is little I need. I will attend to myself. Um. Do I get any influence here or no? Jacrea says that you are walking a trap. You could say, I will take whatever help I can get for positive influence. Then you can get more for saying... Oh, okay. Damn, well, I missed out on some influence there. Hopefully that's... Not too bad. Look, forget at and take the regular quarters. We have enough room. It is no matter. I am used to worse conditions, but thank you for your kindness. Oh, all of a sudden, Handmaiden shows up, and I change my ways, apparently. Uh, the Handmaiden has joined your party. She has Ichani Defense, which protects her against melee attacks, and is excellent unarmed fighter. Okay. Let's see if it shows me the, um... influence General, stuff. Is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? Oh, lord. Uh... Um Yeah, I don't see I don't see any influence gain or loss or dark side points here, so Atris and the Jedi Council took it from me. That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one if you wanted to, but you know that. And why wouldn't I? I don't want anything of the Jedi. I'm not afraid of building a new lightsaber if that's what you think. Do you think I can't build one? Hmm. I'll say three. I never said you were. But whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. Very well to begin. There are some parts I'll need. With all the Jedi Enclaves just all destroyed, I don't know where to get the parts. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. Since when did you become an expert on lightsabers? I spent a lot of time around Jedi during the war. 
None of them would let me take their lightsaber apart, but I did learn about their construction. We need a power cell. Emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. Nice. For the last time, no. Because you're programmed to force your opponent to go first, and nothing will convince me the computer doesn't cheat. Even if I didn't have to go first and somehow I didn't suspect you of counting cards, I still wouldn't play with a trash compactor. <laughs> Yeah? How many credits? He wants to play Pazak. It is time for you to leave. You are harming him with your presence. What the hell is happening? All these I random... Said, it is time... There is a world on the Outer Rim surrounded by mass shadows. Past the graveyard of Mandalorian warships, this planet suffers. Crushed in gravity's fist, to walk on its surface is to feel it crushing every cell of your being. It is like being buried alive until it seems you will never breathe again. What manner of creature would have birthed such a thing? Nothing human, to be sure. If you dare voice your opinions again, Iridonian, you will forget yourself for a time. Return to oh. your machines and trouble me no more. Serve the exile until it is your time to die and it will be enough. So that's what an Iridonian All looks I'm like. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. I guess these things just randomly happen then. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. This is not normal droid behavior. Uh, what's going on here? Yes? I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Uh Don't worry, Beodur probably knows what he's doing. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Good. Now let's get started. I thought I was supposed to repair him though. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. T3M4 has received a permanent plus two bonus to his constitution. Nice. Take that. Journal entry added. Alright, I didn't see any influence gained by what I said earlier. But then again, I don't know who I would have gained those that influence with. Okay, so we can go around the ship and talk to people, I guess. Um, let me uh, look through some of this here. Because we... When we were on... Um, or in that secret academy, we talked to the handmaiden... Before we did the fights, the sparring fights, and then I talked to her a little bit after, which was like even on today's stream. So we might not actually have much to talk about with her, but I want to see if we uh, miss out on anything. Um, 
conversation wise and stuff. Last of the Handmaidens. Uh, the Atris warned me about. Yeah. There's that stuff. She asked me. I asked her why she let why they let me walk around freely and all this stuff. Blah blah blah. What does the force feel like? Boarding the handmaiden. Uh, dark and light players alike uh, will be able to plus influence handmaiden. Okay, so we want to get plus influence with Handmaiden, I guess. There will be other random interactions between party members. This will happen quite often when you enter the Ebon Hawk. Some of them have good benefits, uh, some of them are amusing. Like Adam asking Beodur if he's got a chance with you if you're a female player. So apparently we only get the handmaiden if we're a male character. If we were a female, we wouldn't even get that character. Which is kind of interesting because then there's that means that there's somebody else out there that uh we'll never get to interact with because we're playing as a male character. Which I don't even know who that would be. I guess at the by the end of the game, I'll look at all the companions in this game because I don't know if we can get them all. Uh but yeah. Uh, talk with a handmaiden. Okay. Huh. Okay, there's a lot- there's a lot going on with handmaiden here. Yeah, I just want to refer to this, um, when there's dark side or influence or whatever. I don't, I'm not seeing much, uh, like, negative influence. Literally anything we say, it's, like, always a plus. Except, uh, light side stuff. Huh. Alright, we'll give it a try here. Uh, with some of this dialogue and stuff. So the cargo bay, that's going to be over there. So no one is chilling in this area then. No one's chilling in the, the Mission Veo room. Been a long time since the war. I'm surprised you're still functioning. Angry beeps. Okay. Let's talk to Bayo here, see if he says anything. Hey, General. I want to talk to you. Uh. I brought you on board to attend to the ship and my droids, not waste my time. What is it? Or make it quick, I guess. Maybe the others don't know what's happening, but I can see what's going on, and the others have felt it too. Uh, what are you talking about? You can't hide it, General. Just look at your face. I saw other Jedi who looked like you during and after the war. Ah. It's that woman. You have to get away from her. She'll destroy you. Talking about my alignment. So he's just uh, talking about my alignment right here. Worry about yourself? You're wrong about Kreia. I can control Kreia. She does not control me. Uh, you don't have to worry about Kreia. She doesn't hold over me. I'll say four, I guess. I control. Just be careful, General. You don't know what she wants, and she's got some goal. I'm sure of it. Was there something you wanted me for? Uh, let's back out. 
We didn't get any uh, influence there. I didn't want to talk about the war, but can I ask you something? Uh, what is it? Why did you decide to fight? The Mandalorians had to be stopped. The Jedi served no one with an action. I guess two? I was eager to join the great battle. I felt the same way. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. Yeah, there was a... So... The Iridonians... There was one on Manan in the first game. Uh... Iridonian? I think I was spelling that wrong. There was one on, uh, yeah, on Manon right here. And uh, we never got to see his face. And I was like, man, what do they look like? Well, they look like Darth Maul guys, I guess. But yeah, they did make an, a, a brief appearance in uh, the first game. Unlike many of the Jedi, I could not stand by and watch. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them. To give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. I remember mercy. the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? Uh, I'm just looking through this conversation wise there's no conversation for him in particular but there is a bunch of stuff with Kreia and handmaiden so we'll probably be talking to our party nurse for probably like the next 40 50 minutes i bet there's so much that we need to talk with them about uh do you know how it felt did i train to resist strong emotions The rush of life as a Mandalorian were cut down. Detach myself from the battle, the frenzy of battle. Yes, I felt it too. The rush of life as the Mandalorians cut down. It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me, turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was there something you wanted me for? Back out. Nothing, okay. You know, I'm glad I found you again, General. Oh, God. It seems like every time I leave the dialogue just to see if I got, like, influence or whatever, he's got more things to say. So I bet I guess we should probably just ask him stuff in this thing before we exit out. You were lucky to find me again. You're right about that. We were together at Malakor. I don't know if anyone else could understand. So why are you here? You're getting philosophical on me. I'm here because you found me on Telos and I decided to come along for the ride. Not that I had much choice after we got going. Uh, I mean, why are you still here? Tired of me already. I was frustrated. Watching the Athorians getting pushed around by Zerka, I thought I could make a difference, but it was taken away from me. Guess if one planet was good enough for me, why not the galaxy? Maybe I'm not looking to fix the galaxy? Sometimes there are things that can't be fixed. You just have to know what the circuits look like. It's all wires and switches to you, huh? That's the way I see things. Traveling with you, I know there's something else in the universe. But I can't do anything about it anyways. So I'll leave it to you to take care of. Told you I'm not a Jedi? They might not call you a Jedi anymore, but believe me, you are. It's not the sort of thing that you just stop being. You're stuck with it, just like you're stuck being the General. Was there something you wanted me for? I guess we'll ask him about all these things briefly, and then if I have negative influence or something like that, then just reload and we'll speedrun the dialogue options again. 
where did you pick up that remote anyway? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been ah. following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. Uh, what does it do other than follow you around? He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. <laughs> Got the camera. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Uh, do I have all the lightsaber parts I'll need? I think I only have one piece, I think. Let me see what you have. No, you're still missing any meta matrix and lens. Something else I can help you with? Yeah, okay. Uh, you have any shields I could use? Oh, so he makes energy shields. Sorry, General, I'm flat out. I'll see if I can make some more when I get a chance. Something else I can help you with? Uh, what are you doing? Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who got her up and running, but I'm amazed she's even space worthy. Whoever made these repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But don't worry, I'll get everything in shape. Okay. We didn't get any influence or anything there, which is fine, I guess. Okay, moving on, as we get stuck there. Engine room, there's not much there. Now, Kreia and Handmaiden are going to be the ones that we talk to the most. So, let me run and go talk to Atten real quick, I guess. Or we can also do this as well. Damage HK, HK unit, because we have another piece. Um... Initialize the control cluster. You have installed the droid's control cluster. Step away. So... All that remains is the droid chasis. And the droid processor. Okay, so two more parts for that. Lightsaber, we need two more parts. 